Today this is what we're going to make. Uh, this is another thermostat controlled switch. I've got other ones out there um, if you're interested. But this one I wanted to make to use in my barn to control a chicken waterer uh, to keep it from freezing up. And it uses a bulb a thermostat with an outlet. Alright, let's see how we made this. Alright, so we're making a um, thermostat to control an outlet. Uh, this one I'm making to control uh, a submersible heater in a chicken waterer. Um, so if you want to, if you're interested in chicken waterers, you can see, watch that video also. Um, Alright, so this is a plate from, uh, just got it at Home Depot. And it's got a place for an outlet and a switch. Actually, if it was an outlet and a blank, it would be uh, easier to work with, but this, this is cheaper, so that's why I got this one. You could also, I'm gonna put an outlet here, and then we're gonna, we're gonna mount this over here. Uh, but you can actually do this. I have a lot of, these are computer cords, and I have a lot of these. So I would, it's cheaper for me to cut the end off of this and use this with an outlet. You could also buy an extension cord and cut it in half and use a box that was just one-sided and put this in there and rather than use the outlet you could just bring the extension cord in and switch it with this and then take it right back out you could bring it in switch it with this take it right back out and plug it to whatever it is that you're going to heat but that's not the way we're going to do it today so all right let's get started with this i guess first thing we'll do is get this mounted comes like this. I got it off of eBay. If you look for, if you search for temperature control switch, uh, this will come up. I paid uh, between four and five dollars for it. And uh, if, if it doesn't come up under that, then put in capillary, that's this piece right here, capillary temperature control switch, and it'll come up. All right, so we're gonna take the knob off. Part of it is I got to be able to once I mount this I got to be able to get that down in there. So I think, I think that's going to work. So if I do it just like that. We'll just use this plate as a template to show us where to drill our holes. Now this is a vinyl plate. Uh, they're hard to break if you use the hard plastic ones. Sometimes when you're drilling them, you got to go really slow or you'll break it. screws are long enough. I need somewhere for that capillary tube to come out. You gotta be really careful with this tubing that you don't kink it. Alright, that's got it down in there. I'm going to gently bend that so it goes straight down.
Okay, and the screws were long enough. Alright, now if that goes there, that goes there, alright, then we're going to want the outlet like that, alright, so it's going to mount there. Alright, so let's get this wired up, we're going to bring in, this is our, going to be our cord, just going to cut that end off. Now I'm not cutting very deep into this insulation because I don't want to cut the wires below. I'm just kind of scoring it. And then when I pull it, it'll let it rip back like that. If you don't know how to wire electricity, find somebody that does because you know electricity can be dangerous. I'm going to put some crimp connectors on the ends of these just to make this a little easier. All right, so now let's get this wired up. Now, on this particular switch we're going to use the outside. Uh, this is made so that it will either close the connection when it gets to the right temperature or it will open the connection when it gets to the right temperature. We want it to close the connection like flipping a switch on. So we're going to use the two outer ones and there's a little bit of a schematic here that shows you the difference. So let's see. bring my cord into my box. And then the power, the black wire, is going to come to this one right here. And that's going to bring power in. And then when the temperature gets to be cold enough, it's going to switch it to this terminal over here. So the power is going to come out there. All right. Now our outlet is going to sit over here. Like this. And so we want to put our ground wire on the ground terminal. That's the green one. And then we're going to put our white wire on the side with the silver screws. So this side's got silver screws and this side has brass screws. So we're going to put it on the side with the silver screws. We don't need this screw and we're going to just screw it down. Okay. And then this wire coming off of our thermostat, we're going to bring it and attach it to the brass side, tighten it down. We don't need that other screw and we're going to just tighten it down. Now, before we close this up, we're going to take a wire tie and we're just going to tie the electrical cord to this flap in here just so it can't get yanked on. So then we're going to
screw in our outlet. Okay, now to be, we're being careful that we're not crimping our capillary tube as it comes out there. All right, and that's it. So in this case, we will take, we'll take this, we'll put this bulb down into our, the water, in our chicken water. This is where we'll set our temperature, right here, and power will come out right here. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.